Hello everyone, welcome back to more Legend of Korra. Today we're going to be watching episode um, 6 of season 3. It's called Old Wounds. Old Wounds. Yeah, I think uh, at least one person, Lynn, has some very old wounds that she has to deal with and overcome. And if I know this series well enough, then I believe there's probably going to be some other people maybe dealing with some old wounds as well. So I'm excited to see how it's going to go. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the comments. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, wow, it closes? Oh my god. That's amazing. But she had no right to yell at Opal last night. True. All set to kick away his butt. I'm gonna power disc your face. <laughs> Are they twins? I don't think I'd be much competition since I can't metal bend. Really? I'd be happy to show you the basics. That would be great. You should try it too. <clears throat> I'm more of an earth guy. It's kind of where my heart is. Well, let me know if you change your mind. Um, what the hell is this? It worked, Julie. <laughs> oh God, of course. I should have known. On to phase two. Julie cleans up this mess. <laughs> Aw, poor thing. I think it'd be great if Bolinler's metal bending. Get back to work. <sighs> is everything all right here? The Avatar is in danger. Don't worry. Zalfu is the most secure city in the world. I'm going to check every inch of this place. You need to relax. <sighs> Doesn't take a truth seer to know that you are under a dangerous amount of stress. Yeah. If you don't deal with your repressed feelings, there will be severe consequences to your health. I'm not interested in talking about my feelings. <laughs> won't have to say a word. I oh? know a great acupuncturist in town who will be able to help you. Acupuncturist, huh? You still want to try to take out the president? No. Oh, not the president. We leave today. There's our ticket out of here. Republic City's in kind of a mess right now. I would think with all these vines still around. <gasps> There's no money. I just made my last delivery. We don't want money. I'll be placing several needles on each of your acu points. There's nothing to be scared about. I would be I'm scared. I'm not afraid of needles. This process will correct the imbalances in your chi. In her neck? Oh, no. I can't feel a thing. Your chi must be powerfully blocked. We're going to need more needles. Hmm. Acupuncture often taps into people's buried memories. <laughs> buried memories. Uh -huh. Sue, what are you doing home? You're supposed to be in school. Oh no, are you going to tell mom? What are you doing hanging out with these losers? <sighs> Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Sue, stop. You're ruining your life. At least I have a life. These meteorites are perfect for beginning metal benders. Ooh, that's so amazing. cool. They know, right? Here, try it. Toph invented it. Uh, Bolin, okay. come le learn. I was just looking for Pabu. Pabu! He's on your shoulder. Oh, look, there you are. You're metal bending over here or something? Want to give it a shot? Nah, it's okay. I mean, only like one earthbender in a hundred can metal bend. The only thing limiting you is your attitude. You know, well, I maybe I'll just, I'll just stay and watch. Maybe he'll be uh, more of a natural at it than Korra. Something's happening. Ooh. Wow, you picked that up really, really quick. Great job, Korra. Well, she is the avatar. Calling all units. Robbery reported on the corner of 5th and Harbor. Unit 3 responding. And those things go fast. Are those those guys that Sue Leave was hanging alone. out with? Yeah. Sue? <gasps> oh. Wait. Leaving in the middle of a session could make you sick. I'm done here. Um, we're just making things worse at this point. You owe Opal an apology for the way you treated her last night. You don't look good. I'm fine. She is not fine. What did you do to me? I tried to warn you. Come with me. Let's go finish the session. The breeze. I didn't steal anything. I just drove the car. 
You're still an accomplice. I'm not letting you get away with this. Oh, <laughs> what are you going to do, officer? Arrest me? <laughs> oh, that's how she got that scar. I never really thought too much about it, like how she got it or what. Anything like that. Got a delivery to make in value. I should be back later today. You all right? Yeah, one more pickup, then I'm clocking out. I thought you said you had a delivery. Open the back of the truck. Hey, get back here! <laughs> yeah, get away from there. Uh oh. This is not good. Let's get out of here. What are you going to do without a teacher? You should let Sue teach you. What are you doing? Oh, nothing, you know, just, just thinking about mustaches that I might have. What? You're acting weird again. Sorry. I've been trying to metal bend, and I can't figure it out. I mean, I've been wanting to metal bend ever since I heard about Toph. Oh. Is my biggest hero. Oh. Stop being so scared. You know what? Maybe I am scared, but what about you? I know that you want to go to the Northern Air Temple to train with Tenzin. You're right. I don't want to leave my family and disappoint my mom. Look at us. Talking about our feelings. <laughs> it's nice. Aw, look at those two. I hope Bolin can learn how to metal bend. What were you <gasps> thinking? You two have put me in an impossible position. Here's what we're going to do. Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. What? Lynn, give me the arrest report. Mom, what are you doing? So once again, Sue gets to do whatever she wants and there are no consequences. This is our only option. It's so weird seeing Toph older. <laughs> I need to do something I should have done a long time ago. Oh boy. Things are about to get heated. Congratulations. You're the first metal bending avatar. Wow. I've been thinking... And I'd like to try to learn metal bending. Let's get started. You can do it. Oh. Sue, it's time we talk. You look like you're ready to fight, not talk. Jeez. You could have taken responsibility for what you did. You stayed quiet and let mom throw her whole career away. Yeah, she retired the next year. She was a hero. You think she wanted to retire? Lynn, mom and I already talked about this years ago and worked things out. I've been a different person for a long time. You think just because you live in a big fancy house that you're a different person? Well, how would you know? You haven't been here. You're still a bitter loner who only cares about herself. No wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. Ooh, oh, shit, here we go. This is how it's going to be. <laughs> Bolin's like, ah! <laughs> Should I stop them? You don't have any siblings. Fighting is all part of the healing <laughs> process. True, definitely can be. My sculpture. Oh, his sculpture. Oh no. Actually, it looks kind of better now. Okay, <laughs> he's fine. <laughs> He'll be fine. Man, they are tearing this place up. Ouch. You got it out of your system. Not quite yet. Your sisters, why would you want to hurt each other? Thank you, Opal. Thank you. Nice catch. Uh, who's gonna knock? I'll do it. Chief, you've been sleeping for 16 hours. Ooh. Ooh. Good morning. Who are you? Who's that? Opal, don't go. I want to talk to you. Has she had a change of heart finally? I wanted to say I'm sorry about the other night. It's okay. It's probably difficult for you to be here. I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for you to train with the other airbenders. I don't want to upset my mom. You need to make decisions based on what you want. Mm -hmm. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Oh. Mom. 
Dad, can I talk to you? We're getting more airbenders. Now is Lynn going to make up with her sister? I'm guessing you had something to do with her decision. Well, I was just... It's okay. I think it's time I let her choose her own way. I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time when we were younger. I can't imagine what my life would have been like if Mom hadn't sent me away. You'd probably be in prison. <laughs> you're probably <laughs> right. Mako told me that you're an excellent police chief. I know Mom is proud. Can we move on? I'd love for you to be a part of my life again. There's plenty of space for you in the house. And I do need a co-director for my new dance performance. Whoa, <laughs> slow down. <laughs> she can't really leave How her about job. For now? I just promise not to show up at your house and attack you again. Deal. Okay, a handshake is, is a move in the right direction. We'll find her. It's just a matter of time. She's with the Metal Clan. How does he know? Well, we finally learned, like, exactly what went down between those two. And... Yeah, there's just been a lot of really bad blood between them for all these years. Must have been such a emotional burden for both of them. And I'm sure Toph too, because her daughters, you know, not getting along, not having contact with each other. I'm sure that weighed on her as well. And Lynn has this scar that like reminds her every day she looks in the mirror about her sister and what she did and how Toph reacted to that. And obviously Toph wants to protect her family and Lynn just didn't really understand at the time that that was, you know, for them it was the right decision. But she put everything into being like the chief of police, being a police officer. I don't know if she was the chief at the time, but she put everything into this career that she thought would make her mom proud and then when she did the job that she was supposed to do, she got scolded for going against her sister. And yeah, just a big mess. I'm really glad that we're able to mend things a little bit here. That Opal's going to come with us. And I hope we're not leaving soon because I want to see more of Bolin, Bolin learning metal bending. But maybe it's it's just not the right time for him. I'm not sure where it's going to go. I'm pretty sure he's going to learn eventually and it's going to be like really I'm oof, I'm already getting like goosebumps just thinking about it. Oof. Actually, I hope it doesn't happen right away. I hope hope they make us wait because it it'll feel so much sweeter when he finally does it. <coughs> it's probably going to be like some epic time where he has to like save somebody's life and in the nick of time right when he needs it the most it happens Ooh, maybe maybe not i don't know but either way i am quite excited as always to see where this is gonna go and i wonder how zaheer was able to sense where cora is is that like an airbending thing i'm trying to think i don't think that I don't know. But anyways, I'm sure they'll explain it. And I can't wait to find out more. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I look forward to reading your comments as always. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.